The last time I reviewed a robot, it was the Moxie robot, and I went viral. I wasn't even wearing my company t-shirt. So you might be wondering, what's Goalie? We make tablets, apps, and video classes for young kids. So if you're struggling with bedtime or morning routines, and you don't want to overstimulate your kid with an iPad or Kindle Fire Kids, you know, feels like it's digital crack or something, check out Goalie. But for now, check out Miko. I'm gonna talk about these guys. What is Miko? Well, it's a company that makes these little toy robots. As far as we could tell, they're based in India. I had to sniff them out on LinkedIn because they don't actually have any info on their website. This one costs $2.99, this one costs $1.99. And then they also have a subscription where you can buy lots of apps and video content. Um, and I think that's like 180 bucks a year, but seems to also fluctuate in price depending on the time and the season. So we got both. We saw what's the difference between the Miko 3 and the Miko Mini? Well, first of all, the Mini, the touch screen doesn't touch. It's just a screen. Um, this guy has a touch screen as well as audio commands. That's how you manage this guy. They both come with a parent app where you can manage some things, but it seems like the parent app is also a place where you can actually like play games with your kids on your phone if you wanted to do that. What do we think about these things? I think this case is cool and I think the wheels are nice. Like I like the motion and if I was a little kid, like a five-year-old, I'd be really attracted to the movement. I think this presents some kind of novelty to kids. They also have really nice speakers, right? Speaker's cool. Speaker's nice. Hey Miko, stop doing that. So they're mobile, it, it's fun, but what are the downsides? The downsides are it has a small screen and the wheels make it really easy to just drive off these uh, tables that we have here. This is the cool, whoa! And uh, I suspect that in your home, if it went anywhere above the floor, it would soon fall off. I think that's the downside. The question is, How's the software? Are they actually gonna learn? And that's where we had a really rough go. All right, let's try to learn flags. They've got an app called Flagathon. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what the flag of Azerbaijan looks like? Me neither. <laughs> I think that's Yemen. All right, so I practiced some flags. Turns out I know what the South Korean flags look like. I'm gonna try to exit out of this, and this is where you're gonna see me run into this user experience problem. I have to click on it multiple times, say yes, I wanna leave, and it didn't take me out of the app. It took me back to the home screen. I do wanna exit. So it's like everything just takes more clicks than I want it to. Miko, I, it's bedtime. I have to go to sleep now, please. Let me sleep. But I'm not sleepy right now. It's not about you, it's about me. I have to sleep. Here we go. Zola tries to sleep. I Jeff. don't want Second, to do this. Put on the, the third one mute? tried. There's a mute button here. The mute button doesn't work. Something else the volume? Sleep. The volume button's not working. Around her room and Power? Back and the button. Hey, you've switched off my mic. I'm switching off. <laughs> All right, one out of four buttons works, it's the power button, got us out of story time. That was a little bit stressful. There's lots of apps here and we'll give them credit for that, but it's not really curated because you know some of these apps are just like story time for toddlers. Whereas the app that I just tried for flags, it was clearly aged for like, I don't know, a teenager? Who knows what the flag of Azerbaijan looks like? Probably not a fourth grader, definitely not a four year old. Uh, and many 40 year olds don't even know it. So. I just feel like there's a lot going on here and if they just focused on one audience, this would be a much better product. This screen is, you know, it's smaller than a cell phone. Here's my iPhone for comparison and you can see it has a giant bezel. Hey Miko, mm -hmm. dance for me. Hmm. You got it. Looks like it's- Watch out boys. This is the cool, whoa! This is the coolest feature on this thing, I like it. No dancing on the tables. Uh, hey Miko, stop dancing. Let's continue to play, put your hands up dance. <laughs> hey Miko, I don't want to dance, it's, it's quiet time now. All right. If you want to party again. <laughs> Miko is just a party Thank animal. You. When we reviewed the Moxie, it wasn't perfect, but it was way closer than where we got here. With Moxie, I could have a conversation with the robot. With this, the delay is just too much. I think the hardware is not good enough. The software is not good enough. So if you're debating between the Mini and the 3, I think you got to get the touchscreen because this thing, you know, if it doesn't kill itself by rolling off a table, you might kill it yourself. 
let's go to the touch screen. It's not a great user experience. We tried to do one of the reading apps where I was trying to get it to teach me how to spell. And it was so hard to navigate to the right place. I have a spelling game that we can play. Let's find out how many different words you can spell. What is it? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. You completed the adventure. I just said I completed the adventure. I'm not sure I did anything. Okay. Are we gonna do it? Hi. Hi. Let's get moving. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to play music for 30 seconds. Let's see how many jumping jacks you can do. Wait, I thought we were gonna do a spelling game. Why? It's telling me to do jumping jacks. All right, I'm giving up on this adventure. If you get the subscription, this thing comes with a lot of content, a lot of video content. And the truth is they're licensing good content. It's good, wholesome kids content. So it looks like they're getting these from this service called Kidlo Land. Okay, so a lot of just like time classic stories. Nah, that's cool. It's like someone's reading a book to me. So these Kidlo Land apps, they're pretty cool. It looks like for really young kids. But my question is, why would I want my kid to watch it on this screen instead of on a TV or on a tablet? That's the thing I'm having a hard time grasping onto. I worry this isn't a great screen to actually view content on, and it's so prone to be damaged because it's on wheels that we would buy the subscription and we would damage the device and then not have anything to watch it on. Okay, so they've got a parent app and you're, you're able to do some parental controls and stuff in there. One of the things you can do is call your kid from the parent app. There we are. There's there's my cameraman. He can see us, we can see him. It's a cool feature, I guess. But again, it's, it's kind of a novelty. Like, how many times are you gonna do this with your kid? At Goalie, we implemented a camera feature, but with a really specific intent. It was so that you could see if your kid's sleeping or not because your kid's device is on their bedside stand. So I guess in that sense, you can do something similar, right? Like you could put this on your kid's bedside, but I really don't trust it there. Okay, so the question is, what are you looking to get for your kid? If you're looking to get them a cool gift that's guaranteed to put a smile on their face, I think this is gonna do it. Any kid is gonna love this thing. If you're looking for something that's gonna teach them emotional regulation, to be a buddy, then something like Moxie comes into play. But Moxie's a lot more expensive. This is also one of those instances where you can say, you get what you pay for because they just don't really work in that way. Hey Mikos, hmm? I'm sad. There was an error while fetching graph name. Hey Miko, hmm? I'm sad. There was an error while fetching graph name. Everything will be fine soon. Error, everything will be fine soon. So I said, I'm sad. It said, everything's gonna be fine soon. Then it said, ask me. And here's what it says. Oh, okay, it's gone. It was saying like, how do smartphones work? It was totally irrelevant. I don't understand. It's, it's like they got 20% of the way through the feature development. It was a good idea. Just didn't quite get there. I'm nervous. It's okay to feel nervous about medical procedures, but doctors and nurses are there to help you and keep you safe. I said I'm nervous. It's saying it's okay to feel nervous about medical procedures. How do you know? And then it says, why do boats float? This guy, the Miko Mini for emotional regulation just gave me two errors. This guy, sort of tried to address me. It was like talking to an adult who's, you know, like watching a football game and heard half my question. <laughs> that's what I felt like that was like. <laughs> if you're looking for something that's more educational, where your kids are learning how to read or write or executive functioning skills, then I don't think the robot format is the right way to do it. In that case, you should probably look at a tablet like a goalie. And if you're looking for just entertainment like Disney cartoons, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not really sure why you'd want your kid to watch Disney cartoons on a robot, that's for sure. I can understand on a tablet. Out of five penguins, I'm gonna give this a two. Two penguins, low functionality, high kid toy fun value.